Alright, so now we will be looking at amines. And amines is basically has the functional group of nitrogen, two hydrogens. And an amine can be not only primary, but it can be secondary and tertiary because the hydrogens will just decrease in the functional group. And the suffix for an amine is amine. for its name. And as it goes from secondary and tertiary, there are some more elements in naming. So for starting primary, uh, one example is this. And just pretend that these dashes are hydrogens. So from here, you can tell that it is an amine because of the functional group right here. And the way you would name it is based off, once again, the how many carbons are, which in this case is prop. It's, um, it's going to be a propen. And, or because it's prop, then you add the end of propenine. And that's how you name a primary. Now, for a secondary amine, it's a little bit different. For example, you have a molecule that would look like this. Now, it's obviously secondary because the nitrogen is what's being attached to, or the nitrogen is attached to carbon instead of opposed to one, making it secondary. And the way you're naming this is you look at the smallest of the chains. In this case, it's this one. And you put N and then the smallest chain, which in this case is propyl. And then you name the largest chain, which is that one with the amine ending. So in this case, but amine. And once again, tertiary is very similar to the secondary because if I were to add on to what I had previously written with uh, nitrogen, carbons down here, and then instead of a hydrogen, it's another carbon. So for this, when you're naming it, it's the same thing with naming the smallest one first, which is N-methyl. Then you name the second largest, which is this one. And that will be N-propyl. And once again, with the same ending of but because of the five, four carbons there and the ending of amine. And that is how you name a primary, secondary, and tertiary amine.